Alright guys, so today we're going to be testing what I believe could be the worst, most useless tool on Amazon. And honestly, it could be the most useless tool ever. There could be something more useless than this. I don't really know. But also, you should know that I'm just kind of just voicing my opinion and I've never used this thing yet, so I don't know exactly how useless it's gonna be. I just, I just, from looking at it, I just think it's gonna be useless. What this is, this is a works zip snip. It's, it's basically advertised to do everything that a knife does, except it's supposed to do it better and easier because it's battery powered. It's basically a circular saw, a very small circular saw without teeth. So you just click this button and it rotates and you're supposed to be able to just feed whatever it is into here and it's supposed to be easier to use than a knife. I don't think that it's gonna work very well. So the first thing that we're gonna do, of course, oh, and the knife that we're gonna be using is a, a Mora knife. So for those of you that are hip with your knives, you know what that is. So of course we have to start with a paper test. So the Mora as you would expect. Now let's see what this thing can do. So you just gotta... Yeah, okay. I mean, it worked. Oh. Okay, I mean, to be fair, it it did it. It got the job done. Was it easier than this? I don't think so. I mean, it's it's kind of, it also kind of left a little bit of a jagged edge. So, hold on, maybe, kind of weird. Nah, that didn't really work. That left more of a jagged edge. So it doesn't, it doesn't cut paper as well as a knife, which I honestly didn't expect, seeing as how I think this is the useless, most useless tool on Amazon. But you're, you're not really, you're not gonna buy this thing to cut paper, so let's, let's move on to something else. Another thing that they advertise is they show it cutting cardboard, and they, of course, show it being like way easier to cut cardboard because cutting cardboard is so hard. So, regular knife, as you would expect. Now, I'm really curious about this, let's see. Okay, okay. It cut it. Maybe it would, maybe if you didn't have the strength to do this, to cut cardboard with a knife, or maybe you were scared that you might like slip and cut yourself, maybe that could be a better option. It's definitely slow, it cuts it. I mean, there's no, no doubt about that. It cuts it just fine. It's a little slower, but maybe, maybe if you were like an older person that was you know, kind of nervous about using a, a sharp knife that you might like slip or something. It's real awkward to use though. It's kind of, and it, it kind of like, get, you kind of got to wiggle it and it kind of gets cut or stuck. That's not as bad as I thought. I really thought it was going to be way worse than that. So may, maybe it's decent at cutting cardboard. Could be a halfway decent use for it. As much as I, I hate to eat my words about spouting off that it's the most useless product ever. I don't know, let's try something else. What about rope? Let's try cutting some just standard 550 paracord. Now, obviously, with the Mora, cut no problem. But what if what if you were like, you were nervous about that, this motion? What if you're nervous and you, know, you might stab somebody or slip and cut yourself, whatever? Could this be a viable option? Let's see. Cuts it. Actually it doesn't cut it too bad either. Obviously it takes a little bit more time. That's actually not bad. And that actually, if you get it right, the time's actually not much different. And the cuts, the cuts are the same. I'm starting to think that I might kind of be eating my words on this one. This thing might not be as, as useless as I think it is. Let's move on, let's move on to some different rope. What about this? What about some big rope? Mora? Obviously, it's probably gonna cut it just fine. Oh, actually not all the way through. So, cuts it pretty good. I don't think that this rope is gonna be able to fit in this thing. So, this is not gonna be able to cut it. Oh, I might be able to jam it in. 
it actually did it. I really, before filming this video, when I was lining everything up to see like what I was gonna try, this was the one thing I was like, there's no way it's gonna get this, so this is gonna be like the stopping point. That honestly did it a little bit better than the knife. Let's go again. Come on, man. I literally just ranted about how useless this thing is gonna be, and it's actually turning out to not be that bad. That's kind of upsetting. I was hoping that it was gonna perform way worse. It can cut big rope and little rope. Now this, this could be the stopping point. This is probably eighth inch or so thick leather. Whenever I was reading the list of items this thing claims it can cut, when I saw leather, I thought, mm, I don't know about that. We'll have to see. So let's go ahead with the knife. Oh, this is gonna be tough. The knife is having a pretty, not a hard time, but I think that's gonna be tough. See what we can do. Probably, it'll probably do better than the knife, and it'll probably make me eat my words again. Come on, man. That was way better than the knife. This was another thing that whenever I saw this on the package, I thought, between this and that, that big rope, I thought, there is no way that it is gonna cut better than that knife on this leather and that rope. And here we are, look at this. That's a million times better than the knife. This isn't supposed to be what's happening. This thing isn't supposed to slowly be proving how useful it is. It's supposed to be useless. That just blows my mind. But what about the, the thin leather? Let's try the thin leather. Okay, that was pretty good. Cut just like the paper. Come on, man. Guess I'm gonna be eating my words. Our last test, opening a box. This is another thing that if you were elderly or maybe you're just, maybe you wanted to get this like for uh, kids or something, or somebody you don't want using a knife, you know, typically you'd open a package with a knife, no problem. So can you open a package with this effectively? This is gonna be kind of tough because you can't really get the blade in there. Maybe we can kind of just use the corner of this and kind of maybe use this corner. This, may, this might be this thing. This might be the one thing that just kind of drags this thing down. All right, we're going to cheat just a little bit and go ahead and cut this tape this way. All right, let's see if we can... We, we, uh, we did it. We found the one thing that this thing is gonna struggle with, and it's not gonna do very well. Okay, so, I mean, to be honest, that actually wasn't horrible. It's not as bad as I kind of thought it would be, but, I mean, obviously still not great. Obviously a, a knife like this for this side, you know, cut here. That's obviously gonna be way faster and way more effective. But if you were like a young child or elderly and you, like somebody that can't be trusted with a knife or a pair of scissors maybe, this would be more effective than, than a knife or a pair of scissors. Um, man, I really, <laughs> I really jumped the gun on this one. I saw this thing on, I, I literally was scrolling through Amazon, I saw this thing and I go, that thing is absolutely useless. It has no place, it has no place in this world. It's, there's no way that it performs the way they say it does, useless. So I bought it and I was like, I'm gonna test it out for a video and prove how useless this thing is. And then here I am trying to prove how useless it is and I end up proving that it's like, actually not bad at all and it's actually very useful and actually works very very well i was completely wrong so turns out i do not get to tell you guys to avoid this thing and not buy it i'm actually gonna i'm actually gonna recommend it it's actually pretty decent especially for like if you're elderly or something like i've said 40 times throughout the video so i'm actually really surprised so if you guys have any other i guess useless tools that appear to be useless that maybe end up not being that useless that you found on Amazon? Leave a comment down below. 
I'll test them out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.